Welcome back to eShop Deals, everybody. So as I just said, welcome back to another under $5 eShop Deals video, where every week we go through the Nintendo Switch eShop and we pick out some of the best games currently on sale, all the while staying under a budget of only $5. Now, once again this week, we've got a couple of new picks, we've got a lot of returning favorites, and there is one game that you are definitely not going to want to miss if you haven't picked it up yet. However, just before we get into that, just a quick reminder for anyone who might be new to the channel, about halfway through the video, I'll be giving away two $5 eShop gift cards. If you want to participate in those giveaways, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and drop a comment down below. The full contest rules are in the description of the video. Also, if at the end of this video, you're still looking for other great deals, I'll always be linking last week's under $5 list as well as the latest regular eShop deals because almost all those deals are still running and I just don't repeat them two videos in a row. Now with all of that stuff out of the way, let's head straight into those deals. Just remember if you are liking the content, remember to hit that like button. Now, our first great deal for today is going to be Jars, which is a brand new game to the series, and it is now 86% off, dropping it to only $1.99, and will be running all the way till July 1st. Now, in my opinion, the best way to look at this game is as a strategy tower defense game. With the basic premise behind the game being to drop insects at strategic points on the gameplay area in order to destroy all the jars on the shelves. Now at first, the puzzles might feel simple and straightforward, but trust me, as the game progresses, they will become much more complex. You'll also unlock a wider variety of insects, forcing you to use them in different ways. Now the best part, however, to this game definitely has to be the visual style behind it, which looks almost Tim Burton-esque. And even though tower defense games are a dime a dozen, especially on mobile platforms, I do think that this one does enough to really differentiate itself and is definitely worth a pickup right now at only $2. Now our next game for today is one that I've actually put into sizzle reel quite a few times but haven't featured in a little while and that is Grizzland that is back to 60% off dropping it to only $1.99 and yet again will be running till July 1st. Now on the surface this game might not look like much with visuals that almost seem pulled from the Atari system. However, in its gameplay, it more than makes up for it, being what I would call a mini metroidvania. Now, a simple playthrough can probably be completed in just a couple of hours, but nonetheless, it's a great time. And if you want to find all the extra unlockables, you can actually extend your gameplay by another hour or two. But as you explore this beautiful gray shaded world, you realize that the visual style here was really an artistic choice. So if you're a platformer or metroidvania fan and you're looking for a short satisfying romp, this one is going to be a great pickup at only $2. Now the next game on our list is another returning great with Figment back to 90% off, dropping it to only $1.99 and this one will be running all the way till July 5th. Now this game is a top down action adventure game. And yes, I'm going to say it, it's very reminiscent of something of a Zelda like gameplay. So just as in that other series, you'll be defeating enemies, solving puzzles, and exploring an ever-expanding world. What's really special about this series, however, is that you're actually locked in the mind of a human being, and you're sort of working through their fears and their problems. So there's a really interesting and tight-knit storyline behind it. Not only that, but also visually, it is a truly beautiful game, with aesthetics that almost look like watercolor. And to back it all up, a really pulse-pounding soundtrack that is quite surprising. Now, unfortunately, Figment 2 was pushed back to October, but at least it gives you some time to get up to date if you haven't played this game yet. And trust me, this is normally a game that is easily worth its full price of $20, so right now getting it at only $1.99 is a huge steal. Now, our next game on today's list is another returning one with Mousebot Escape from Cat Lab that is now 50% off, dropping it to $2.49. You will have to move quickly, however, this one is ending on June 20th. Now, first of all, this is actually a game that I fully reviewed on the channel, so if ever you want more information, you can always check that out down below. But basically, the best way to describe this game is that it's a 3D auto runner where you play as a robot mouse that has to escape from a lab that is run by a bunch of cats that have set up various mazes. Now once again, although the game opens up very simple, having you collect various pieces of cheese and making your way to the end of each level, as it progresses the game does get gradually more difficult and ends up being very challenging by the end. There's also a ton of unlockables to really customize your mouse to add a little bit of extra flair as you play through the levels. 
And if you really want to give yourself a challenge, you can even try playing in first person perspective. Overall, when I played this game, it actually surprised me a lot because my expectations were pretty low, but I ended up having a ton of fun with this game and really, really enjoying it. So if any of that spoke to you, well, right now at only 249, it can be some great pick up and play fun. So now it's time to take a quick break and announce today's winners of the $5 eShop gift cards. And our first winner for today is going to be Nick Tendo, who said, I've had my eye on Under Hero for so long, I think now is the time to get it. Well, I hope you really did pick it up, Nick Tendo, because at just over $5, that was a great time to do so. And our second winner for today will be Jumpstart Girl, who said, Awesome list this week, bro. And I'm really glad you liked my list. I try to do the best I can each and every week and show the deals that are really worth it. So now all you need to do to claim your $5 eShop gift cards is reach out to me in my pinned comment down below. So now if we jump straight back into the deals, I have another great one for you. And that is the Deponia collection that is 90% off, dropping it to only $3.99 and will be running till July 3rd. Now, first of all, I just want to mention all the separate games are on sale individually at $2 a piece. However, in this collection, you're getting all four for $4, so it's like a two for one. Now, these games are some great point and click adventures that do remind me a lot of the Monkey Island series. Also, the extremely comedic storyline and sometimes over the top antics remind me of television greats like Futurama. Now, something I maybe want to specify about this collection, the first entry, in my opinion, is definitely the weakest of the bunch, but is essential in setting up the storyline. But what I can tell you is as you play through the games, it gets better and better in each entry. So don't be put off by a slow start to the first one. Trust me, by the end of the series, the storyline really all comes together and it's actually a really great experience. And at $4, which pretty much works out to a dollar a piece, this is truly a great pickup. Now our next amazing deal for today is going to be Celeste that is back to 75% off, dropping it to only $4.99. This one you will have to move quickly again because it's ending on June 21st and it's also my pick of the week. Now in my opinion, most people will describe Celeste as a precision platformer. However, at the same time, for a precision platformer, it has quite a bit of storyline behind it. The basic premise here is very simple. Madeline, that has unfortunately just lost her grandmother, is trying to make her way to the top of Celeste Mountain. However, on her journey to the top, she's going to come across quite a few individuals that are going to help her reflect on her overall situation and come to terms with the loss of a loved one. It's a beautiful storyline that I think a lot of us out there will be able to connect with. But on top of that, it's then backed up by some of the best platforming gameplay currently available on pretty much any console. I will give a warning that the game at certain points will become quite challenging. However, at the same time, the game does allow you to choose your level of challenge with some sub objectives that can just be overlooked if you're not into that type of experience. But for those of you that are craving that hardcore challenging platforming experience, well, there are over 700 challenges available. And when I made my list of sub $30 platformers, I placed Celeste on the top. And guess what? Still today, that would be its position. Overall, at $4.99, this game is a fantastic pickup. Now, our next entry for today is another brand new one to the series. With Ghosts and Apples at 50% off, dropping it to $4.99 and running till July 1st. Now, this game is a reflex-based puzzle strategy game. And in my opinion, it's actually a great twist on the genre. Now, the basic premise here is the ghosts are going to make their way slowly into your balloon, and then you'll have a few seconds to direct them to one of the four corners of the screen. Now, this will decide on how the ghosts will stack up in the two tubes on the side of the screen. Line up three ghosts of the same color, and you eliminate those ghosts. Basically, it's a brand new twist on the block stacking games like Puyo Puyo or Dr. Mario. And once again, trust me, although things look simple at first, as the ghosts start coming quicker and quicker and the number of colors multiply, things will get a lot more difficult. Now, as you make your way through the game, you'll see that there are different twists on this gameplay formula, and there's also an awesome co-op mode if you want to challenge another player. 
Lastly, once again, the visual presentation here is truly a great highlight of the game, reminding me of something out of a Tim Burton movie. Overall, for fans of puzzle games, this one was easily worth the full $10 at $4.99. It's another great deal for today. And now our next deal for today will be Wonder Song. That is now 75% off, dropping it to $4.99. However, this one, yet again, you're going to have to move quick because it is ending on June 20th. Now, I would describe this game as an adventure puzzle platformer, all based around music. However, it's not a rhythm game. Now, in this game, you're basically playing as a bard who has to save the world through his singing. Now, using your singing ability, you're going to have to repeat patterns that you're going to learn throughout the levels to affect the environment and solve the puzzles to each level. Now, I think the most important thing to know about this game is on the difficulty scale, it was actually pretty low. All the while, still offering a decent level of challenge where you'll feel satisfied when you complete a section. But this game is really truly about the overall experience than just the individual gameplay sections. And when I look back at playing the whole game, it was really a great, great experience. And in any other week where Celeste wasn't also on sale, this game would have been easily a pick of the week. Now, I know I've said it a lot this week, but this is another game that even at $20 was already excellent value. So getting it right now at $4.99 is just a huge steal. So now it's time for another sizzle reel of deals with some other great games to consider for this week.
So we're now at the end of today's under $5 eShop deals video. And I want to hear from all of you. Let me know what games you're picking up in the comments down below. Also, I just want to give a huge shout out to my channel supporters. Their monthly support is just so appreciated and you can always check out all their names on the end screen of the video. And don't forget on the way out that if you did appreciate the content, consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel if you aren't already and clicking that notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.